raise your hand if you're ready to be scared. Uh, yes, guys, it's here. We are hanging out, having a good time. <sighs> Gladion time. We're gonna die. Um, so today's episode, we're taking care of, it's 258 by the way, we are taking on Gladion, we're going through the Victory Road area, we have a lot that we're doing, we still have yet to get our encounter on Burning Cavern, because I was dumb, but let's be honest, it doesn't matter, um, we're probably not gonna get our encounter here, we're just gonna sail on by, just straight shot this, <sighs> wish me luck guys, because this is about to be insane. Saying uh, things are gonna go horribly wrong as you know predicted hey hi polyrath um we're kind of leading with um something that destroys polyrath so i'm fine with that but yeah so i'm gonna kind of back note this here so my plan which is not gonna come to fruition because of course why 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 would a plan actually come to fruition let's be honest it it doesn't that is, plans coming to fruition just don't exist so <laughs> my plan was to hopefully get here and fight this, do this episode at 259. Yeah, but as you heard, it's 258, which means that I'm an episode ahead. Which means that conveniently, I either have to hope that I don't, or that I have problems in this episode that makes it so that I can't do things and cannot finish on time, but more than likely that's not gonna happen. Or I have to figure out Sword and Shield. I've opted for this figuring out sort of a chill route because honestly, I cannot believe that we're already here. So, of course, that might be a little preemptive. Um, obviously, preemptiveness is um, it's a thing. But my thought process along this was just you know, with the girl, why do you have two polyrouths? Okay. Why not? I guess. Watch it. Watch it not be. Watch it. Watch crab. Watch this be Zoroark. Oh no! This one's just a shiny polyrath. Okay. Whatever. I guess. <laughs> I guess you just have another polyrath. Go for it. I cannot believe you legitimately had two polyraths though. Mandibuzz. Hmm. Dark is still the struggle. Dark is still a really big struggle for us, and I don't... Okay, you know what? Hopefully he... Hopefully we run into a lot of dark types. Um, of course, it's dark and flying, so that's what that's what's creating the issue, because otherwise I would use Snuggle Bop. Also, we're really level, like, even, and that's scary. Because that's not supposed to happen. But okay, I guess it did. Um... We don't have an ice type. Mandibuzz is defensive though, so. You know what, with Mandibuzz's defensiveness, I think I'm gonna go Quivarius or Pyduck. Who's got? Okay, we're going Quivarius. Pyduck doesn't need more levels. Pyduck's like actually the only one that's getting close to being on par with the Elite Four, Elite Four but. Yeah, I did not realize I needed to train, so training is going to have to happen, but luckily I have enough time to where I can just do, like, editing, so I'm not necessarily that worried about that. That's not something that is in my head, um, like, worrying about that, so at least that's a positive, is that that's one thing that I don't have to worry about. Foul play sucks, though. Like, it sucks that we have to fight it, I should say. Bye, Mandibuzz. Have a great day. Okay, what's next? Watch it be another Polyrath, just because AG Slash. Um, yay. Because of Precipice Blades. Or Heat Wave. I think Heat Wave's better, actually. I gotta remember versus Doom Desire is in play. Emolga. <sighs> um hmm.
I'm gonna stay in. I don't know what uh, Molga's gonna really. It's another shiny. What the heck? Gladion, why do you have two shinies, first off? Okay, Doom Desire is gonna happen. Ooh. It's gonna happen in conjunction with the Sky Attack. Hmm. What Doom Desired? Aegea Slash. Doom Desire is typeless damage. I guess we're going to go into Satan because Satan has the highest tanking power. So if Satan can't tank this, then uh, nobody could. Well, shit. <laughs> uh huh. This is why we did the 1080p version. Um. Yeah, um, actually, we can do editing. We just got to make sure that we... Wow. Uh, at least EA didn't die. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that because it's like... I was put in a predicament... Because, like I said, Doom Desire is typeless damage. So, I don't even know... ...what to do from that. Because anything could happen, really, in that spot. And well, at least we know we really need to do grinding. But, hmm, Cherim. I don't even know. I, I, I genuinely don't know what, what I'm going to do about that. You know what? A, a kill needed to be claimed of that magnitude. If we would have had Bri, everything would have been fine. But it's fine. Or Balboa. One of the two would have just murdered that and been fine. Crap. <sighs> Dude, I don't even know at this point what to do on that. That's such a big, brutal loss. And it was a crit to like I mean because I, I think that without the crit I lived so it was the right play um to make <sighs> but the crit was the thing that sealed it well Satan's reign ends Satan survived almost two whole generations and is one of the very few actual me deaths. L or he actually makes it so it's over half of the deaths are from me. Hmm. Who do I even add? becomes the question. Like, I feel like Weavile is not bad. Not a bad addition. But what is our needs right now? Become the new question. 
Like a physical, a, a true physical attacker, yes. We don't have Dragon anymore, so Quizlet might not even be bad. We actually might get to use our Master Ball play. Can of Lave would be funny. Um, and would give us ice, so that's not a bad play either. Do we? If Bree's moveset was better, it would, that would be the play as well. It's kind of the situation with most... Ooh, Gengar. But Gengar's really more special... Tarant. I like Tarant's moveset. Mini Mouse. We have so much in the box. I genuinely don't know. Hakamo'o wouldn't be bad because it's a Kamo'o. Same with Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum wouldn't be bad. Gudra is more defensive. I want more of an uh, like a faster offensive mon, which Komo'o kind of fits the bill on that. Embor wouldn't be terrible. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go Hakamoto. I'm going to go R Reggie. Why I named you? Oh, because Nintendo president. Duh. I was like, why did I name you Reggie? Because um, that's dragon, that's fighting. That's two types we don't have. As much as Toga to Mario would be funny, and I would love to use Toga to Mario, I can't manage to do that. Okay, so let me see. Was that the, actually the, was that the best option that I could have made? 249 versus 141.27. One ninety, which would have been forty five, versus a resisted two hundred and one fifty one. Mm. If I was healed, but I'm not. Yay, just died instantaneously. If uh, Garatina did, that's a death. That's a death. That's a death. It's all death. It's nobody. Nobody lived. Okay, I made. I mean. I made the best play then because Giratina could have lived foregoing the critical hit. So that's good. Well, we'll see you back when our Hakamo is trained up because we have to go from level 15 to level 50 something. And now the Satan's dead. That's great. I love the fact that, you know, Charizard and I, you know, talked about how Satan getting into the game of Sword and Shield would be a little bit of a complicated affair because of, you know, it not allowing me to uh, use Pokemon from 1.3.2. And then literally eight minutes after we talk about this and we worry and freak about it, it doesn't even fucking matter. Yay. So thrilled that that's the case. I'm so fucking happy about that. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we are back with our trained up Reggie. Um, Reggie has the ability Dark Aura, which increases the power of Dark type moves, which doesn't matter at all, but whatever. Um, we got Cosmic Power, Sacred Sword, Flying Press, and Woo Dark Pulse. Um, I'm actually going to take a second to see what TMs we can learn, because I didn't do that. Um, I'm hoping, like, ooh, that might not be... No, no, that's not, that's not that good for us. I want it to be good, but it's not. Um, Spirit Shackle actually is a good move to think about. Stone Edge. Oof. Stone Edge would only help us really with flying type. And you're weak to flying. 
Sparkling Aria doesn't matter. Parasitus Blades doesn't matter. Origin Pulse doesn't matter. Sucker Punch, no. As much as that would be cool. Heat Wave, no. Bone Club, no. No, no. No, okay, there's really nothing that I would want to teach him. Other than, like I said, Stone Age, Stone Edge, or Spear Shackle. Spear Shackle is probably an actually yes situation. So I am going to go for it. Um, flying Press doesn't seem useful to me. I mean, Flying Press is good for f other fighting types, but I have Quivarius for it. Um, but it acts as like a fighting and flying move, which cool in concept, but I'd much prefer Spirit Shackle, and being able to boost my defenses is nice. Um, I think more so for the future, but... I looked up house levels because I needed to make sure that I was not under leveled, and I was minorly under leveled um, for how. And how's coming up like with no um, like warning here soon, and so because of that, I wanted to make sure that I was fine. Glad I did that because I wouldn't have been. Um, his ace is 57, um, but his main team is like 52 fi or not 52, excuse me, 54 and 55 so i would have been super boned if i didn't do that if i would have chosen not to get a pokemon i i would have had daddy the champ i would have had ronda back actually i'm catching it because the prospect of having ronda back in case something bad happens is totally fine by me and ronda is totally okay to go into sword and shield we've already checked so um, yeah, so, actually, we know that. It's a gigantic Pokemon. It's literally, like, primo catch thing for, for me right now. Rhonda! Oh my gosh, girl. Uh, do you want to join my team again? Honestly, just have a Machoke literally, or, like, a Machamp in every generation, because I swear that's what it felt like. Because we had one in Gen 1. I think we even had one in Gen 2. Um, I think Gen 3 might be the only generation we didn't have one. Or Gen 5. Gen 3 and 5. Believable. But yeah. Wow. That's hilarious. That's actually legitimately hilarious. Rhonda. We've had, and we've had a mixture of daddy, daddies and Rondas. Because I, I distinctly remember having Rhonda. And, and also distinctly have daddies too. So like. Okay that's funny. That's actually looks really funny. Tough claws. Not bad. Terrible nature, but whatever. We live with it. Highly doubt we're going to use you, but I kind of want to. Might sacrifice Pokemon for you. Um, no, I wouldn't do that, actually. I don't do that. As, um, you know, shown, I try. And sometimes me trying bites me in the mother loving butt, but it's fine. I spent all this time training one up. Could have just ran. I could have just literally caught one. Okay. Yeah, we don't. And you have clanging scales because you, when you are come out, oh, you get that move. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You did not get that. Oh, heart scale girl. We don't have a heart scale. What am I wondering about heart scale girl for? We don't have a mother loving heart scale. I don't know. I'm just thinking about 8,000 different things that we don't need to think about. But, um, I believe this does not count as an encounter, does it? It does not. So, we can super repel our way through this. Because super repels are lovely. If you guys don't have them, then you should definitely invest in them. I have seven of them. We're going to use them. We're going to get through this area. Will we fight the trainers? Of course. But will we fight random Pokemon along the way? No. Good move. Nobody that effectively would learn it though. Like even Yay, I would not say would it be an effective learner with that move. Oh, that's the Glaceon Ice. If you ever want to get a Glaceon, that's how you get it. You level up going up through that spot, but apparently I'm going to be a god and get through this the way that you're supposed to instantly and just make all the right decisions. Sure. We have seven of them, so that way we can cut through the grass and not have to go the long way. Was that actually it? Was this this was not trainer? This is is this actually trainer? -less?
Well, remember when I said how just comes out of nowhere? Yeah. Yeah, how comes out of nowhere, quite literally. Because here's that battle. Is that really going to be the episode, though? Or are we actually going to be taking on the Elite Four now? Oh, God. Please, no. We're not taking on the Elite Four now. No way we are. I'm not letting that happen. Just quite frankly, I'm not going to let that happen. I, as much as that would be cool. No. 259. Save that for 259. Do we have our skills? Do we actually have them? No. I don't, because she would have been like, oh, here, what do you want to teach if I had them? So, that was way quicker than expected. Um, and you know what? I don't know why I think that was way quicker than expected. Because encounter rate is absolutely crazy in that place. And so you encounter like three or four, like, or five mons, and you have to hit run away a bunch. So without having to do that, super repels save lives, okay, guys? Like, super repels save lives. Hold up for me, Gwen. I'm going to battle you. Oh, my God. I cannot believe this. Oh, my God. I'm gonna die. 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 I'm 100% gonna die to this trainer. This is gonna be the end of the run, guys. How's it gonna end me at the very end? And then I'm gonna have to replay Sun and Moon again. And all this Pokemon Sword stuff has been for nothing. That's exactly what's about to happen. We all know this. Hi, Deoxys. How are you? Hmm. Yeah, see, main team's 55. Hmm. I'm gonna go to Snugbop. Snugbop has Leap Life. Snugbop's gonna get some action. Everything's falling apart. White literally everything is falling apart. Okay. That's a problem on so many levels, actually. Remember when I said I was gonna die? Um Snuggle Up was like my best way to handle that, and uh, it it's gone now. Um so I get more training to do. Remember when I said I wanted Ron on the team? So apparently I want to run on the team that badly. Definitely 100% knew that I had Sacred Fire. And definitely 100% sacked Snuggle Bob. No. No, I didn't. Guys, that's not what happened at all. But, oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do now. Because Ye's d Ye dies, Reggie dies, what doesn't do anything... It's up to Pyduck. Of course it's up. Of course it's up to fucking Pyduck. Why would it not? Honestly, at this point, everything's up to Pyduck. Like, Pyduck is the savior of the run and the only thing that can do any. Any only Pokemon that can do anything in this game is just Pyduck. It's. Honestly, it's Pyduck. You know? And any problems? Just ask Pyduck. Bruh. Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Straight up, at this point, I don't know what to do. This is hilarious, actually. This is legitimately hilarious. I'm so glad I turned... <sighs> what is Lava Plume about to do? What is Discharge gonna do? Is that gonna Oko me? No. I should have just stayed in with what. <sighs> and then Trash Bird comes out. I was not expecting what to just tank that hit. Oh, works guy attacking again. Okay. 
Okay, I guess we just stay in with what and do whatever we can with what. Tapu Fini. You know it'd be so great to be able to use right now? You know, a grass type move. But, but like, ugh, I gotta stay in. Ugh. How is just providing all of the definitions of HE double hogging sticks right now? My thing was, right, was Sacred Fire, right? Oh god, no. Was Sacred Fire, right? If he hits Sacred Fire, then I die because uh, I have a good attack. And say my defense is really, really garbage, as you can see. And as I'm, it's being directly illustrated. Um, so it, what it should have hit was Sacred Fire, right? And then, you know, I would have died, and then it would have made more sense. But no, I just decided to go for the move that didn't matter. Because that's been the trend. Um, at least Ye's still alive, though. But losing Pyduck is huge. I loved Pyduck. Pyduck was the man. Can we stop getting crit, please? I would like to not get crit every five seconds. Landris. Naturally. Dude, my team looks so much, like, not worse, but like... Ye was beloved. Piduck was beloved. Snugglebop was beloved. Like, all of my beloveds are dying, and I'm not okay with it. Zing Zap. Are you kidding me? What the fuck, how? That's my- that's literally just my, like, thought process on this whole situation. It's another thing that I have to think about. How literally has just- it's like, any move- or anything that I have, how it just goes, I have something that's super effective. And if that's telling for this Elite Four is gonna go, I don't like it. <laughs> um, this is probably the toughest trainer we've had. I'm gonna go ahead and Oblivion Wing though. I gotta go for it. Ugh. Shell Bell, of course that's your item. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Baneful. And then I'm gonna go for the swap into Yay. Oh, I no, I'm not. What am I saying? I'm gonna go into Reggie. I did not realize that Yay was down that bad. And even if you go for Zing Zap, right, which you could, I don't think you will. Okay, you did, so I... Am I two poisons away? Oh, yeah, I definitely am two poisons away. Okay. Well, we're healing Ye because Ye is important. Reggie is the least important Pokemon to me right now. Here's the thing. I love Reggie, and I say that he's the least important... But what I really mean by that is that, oh jeez, that shell bell, it didn't do enough. Okay, it's dead. Is that, I mean, let's be fair, he has no, oh, I, I do know. Like, how do I save this? Is it a normal fairy type of its mega? I think it is the normal fairy of its mega, so I'm gonna go into Ye. We healed Ye for a reason. Because I have a feeling it's gonna be freaking mega for no reason. Of course it's not, but you know what? It's fine. Okay. 
We're just gonna... We're gonna do that now, are we? You're just gonna celebrate. Okay, watch it. I mean, you don't have Z celebrate, because that would be scary. But we can just celebrate, I guess. You can... Yay! You're going to the Elite Four! After I killed two of your favorite Pokemon! I'm so happy! I'm triggered with how right now. I'm very triggered with how right now. I'm beyond upset with how. He kills two of my Pokemon. Yay, why do you leave me with these choices, girl? I want to say no. But that's a really good move that I just passed up on. No. Why would I do that? No, it's split, not swap. Alright, for a second, we can be mad at myself. I need to become stronger. Here, Gwen, have more pointless match revives. Frick you, how? I'm really upset. Snugglebob and Pyduck? Really? Those are the two that you decide to take from me? And Satan? In this episode? You took three of my favorite Pokemon in this game. It was like the half the team kill, but you guys didn't get to decide. And then we have another one in the next fucking episode. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, Rhonda, one thing. First things first, we gotta move you to the right situation. And we gotta figure out, like, here's my thought process. You know what? We gotta figure out if certain mons are in Sword and Shield at this point. Like, and if they're obtainable. Because that way, there's no quarrels, no problems um, with that and having that be an issue. Because I don't want that to be an issue, realistically. And I guess the, the, the universe is saying, just make that not a non-issue. And I'm like, fine game, whatever, it's fine. So, we have two Pokemon that we have to pick. I know that Dusclops is in Sword and Shield. Hmm. I kind of want the Demonetization Doggo. I kind of really want the Demonetization Doggo. Honestly, here's the two that I want. Demonetization Doggo and Tarant. Because that gives me a Water Legendary and a Grass and Ghost type. Because we lost a, like... We so lost our Spore Pokemon too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the two that I'm wanting. Like, I mean, if I further look at this team, like. Demonetization Doggo. Or Mega Gallade. What is Mega Gallade's ability? Telepathy. Oh, that doesn't really matter, does it? Crabomitable would be fun too, but... There was a lot of Pokemon that I really enjoyed that are in this box that's making this hard to choose, but... Um... Yeah, 
Yeah, those are the two that I really want. So, I guess here's now the time to kind of discuss what the heck is going to happen in a Sword and Shield. So, for Pokemon that don't or are not allowed to advance into Sword and Shield, I was going to try and make a pseudo replica with a different Pokemon. Um. Like, that's close to its typing and its stats, and so it'd have the same moves and stuff that goes along with it. Um, so that way you guys could continue kind of picking as normal, and their spirit would just be transferred over. Right? So that was my thought process with that. But now Snugglebop is dead, so we don't have to worry about that. Snugglebop was, like, actually the one that had that problem. Because Ye is, Ye is in the game, I believe. I don't know. Is Ye not? Ye is in the game. I swear Ye is in the game. Mewtwo is in the game. Celesteel is in the game. And Kamo is in the game. So I believe the four that we have are in the game. You know what? I'm just going to go with my heart. And my heart says to add Demonetization Doggo, one, because it's freaking hilarious that Gwen, of all people, the Pokemon, the person I named Gwen, has the Demonetization Doggo, who's literally always named Gwen, so, yeah, that's, I'm going with my gut, and my gut says add these two Pokemon, and as, uh, as much as Rhonda would be so, no, it's, it's to Ron. I don't get an opportunity to use Toronto like ever. It, and it kind of rounds out my team. It actually has a grass move that I've been freaking complaining about the entire series. Yep. Yep. My hands are off. And in episode 259, we're taking you on the Elite Four with a, what feels like a freaking brand new team. Love y'all. Bye.